to win the most important trophy last spring, but they did capture several others. Pat Burns was named NHL Coach of the Year. Key Carboneau took the selfie selection as best defensive forward. Chris Chelios won the Norris Trophy as the league's number one defenseman. While Patrick Waugh won the Vezina Trophy and shared the Jennings with Brian Hayward. The Habs lost more than the Stanley Cup, though. Three experienced veterans, Robinson, Ganey, and Green, are gone. And the leadership torch has been passed on to players like Stefan Richet, who is again on top of his game, leading the Canadiens in scoring. And while he puts the puck in the net, St. Patrick continues to keep it up. The Habs goaltending still on top of the pack. The team, however, is not. Tonight, from the Forum in Montreal, the Canadiens welcome the Winnipeg Jets, live on CKY. The Jets on CKY, brought to you by Molson Canadian. What beer's all about. The Jets opened up. Andy Cunningworth ripped the winning goal back to 500. The Jets are in a log jam in the Smythe division, tied with Los Angeles and Vancouver for second, two points ahead of Edmonton. Six back of Calgary with games at hand. The Canadiens are in an unfamiliar position. The reigning Adams division champions are stuck in second, two points behind the razor-sharp Sabres, despite the fact that they've played three more games. Hi again, everyone. I'm Rod Black. There is nothing quite like hockey in the Montreal Forum. The aura, the history, the magic, the mystique. A wise man once said that if you can't get up for a game in this building, you have no business being in hockey. The Jets should be up tonight, partially because of last night's victory in Quebec City, but probably because of the overall positive team play of late. Their head coach, Bob Murdoch, played in Montreal in the early 70s. He won two Stanley Cups with the Canadiens, and the Jets hope that some of his success will rub off on them. They've only won... Canadiens could be ripe, however, tonight. They've had some injury problems of late, and with more on that and the game tonight, here's our play-by-play -play team. Montreal Canadiens just came back from a three-game road trip with a record of 1-1-1, one, one, and, one, and it's being treated here as the greatest travesty since the Holocaust. Well, it should be treated that way. I mean, the Canadians have been playing just terrible. They've only lost two games in their last nine. I mean, these fans here in Montreal are completely spoiled. That's all there is about it. They love their Canadians, but they love them more in April and May because that's when they've grown accustomed to really seeing the true Canadians come out. The Canadians have been injured one week after another. Pat Burns has had a tough time this season. He has had eight new faces in the lineup, and this is still the early going of the year. But one thing he's had going for him, and that's solid goaltending. Well, the people here demand perfection, but when you look back over the years, they've had a lot of it. Well, they have grown accustomed to it, and so they expect it night after night. But this Canadians hockey club are a good hockey team, and they are going to have a pretty good run at the Adams Division crown again this year. But the Buffalo Sabres are really hot. So I get to have a good look at you on the awesome Montreal Canadiens, right? Thank you, gentlemen. Between periods tonight, we'll chat with Winnipeg native Montreal Canadian Mike Keane. Plus, the second part of our Decade in Hockey series. In the second break, Cronin the Barbarian will visit us. And will visit Brett Ashton's second home in Saskatoon. The teams visit center ice next. Coming up, the Canadiens and the Jets, live on CKY. Ladies and gentlemen. Now there, just before we get things underway between the Montreal Canadiens and Winnipeg Jets, there's going to be a moment silent for Olympian Victor Davis, who was killed in a traffic fatality just this past week here in Montreal. Ladies and gentlemen, last Sunday, Canada lost one of its greatest swimming champions as Victor Davis passed away. Would you please stand and observe a few moments of silence in memory of this great Olympic champion? Thank you very much. Montreal Canadiens will start off with LeBeau, Arishé, and Corson. The Jets will start this game off with McIlwain, Fenton, and Smale. The referee tonight is Paul Stewart. 
the linesman Wayne Body and Pierre Shampoo. And the man between the fights tonight for the Winnipeg Jets is Bob Essens. Only his second appearance of the season, but he was named the first star against the Stanley Cup champions in his previous game. That was a 3-2 home ice victory over the Calgary Flames. And standing opposite him, the man who heads up the number one goaltending team in the National Hockey League, Patrick Roy, whose goals against average is 2.38. He has a shutout, eight wins, five losses. And he is uh, one tremendous goaltender, Gary. Well, he's really showing his stuff this year because he is playing behind a young Montreal Canadian hockey club. So things are underway. It goes back into the Jets. On with it is Yellen. Watched there by LaPoe. Sends it out to McIlwain off him. Here's Svoboda. Puts it in front of his own goal. It's brought up by LaFave on the left side for Corson. Gets into the jet zone. Puts it in behind the net. Ellett and Corson go after it. It comes loose. And the Jets start away. Fenton gives to Olison. His pass broken up. Now Corson gives to Riche. And it knocked away. And Smale turns it around for Winnipeg. Smale's pass goes off McIlwain. He chases it deep. Then his poke check by Svoboda. Pokes it ahead now to LaPoe at center. Right side pass. Here's Riche. Fakes it. Looks back for a trader. There isn't one. Puts it into the corner. Corson can't center. In behind is LaPoe. His centering effort picked up. And here comes Smale away for Winnipeg with Mantha. It's dumped in. Back for it. LaFave. LaFave's pass that uh, went off. Corson in front and deflected wide. LaFave now gives it to Corson on the right side at center. Dumped into the jet zone. Essenza around for Howarchuk. Looks rink wide for Pizlowski. Watched there by Walter. It's set out. Ludwig gives it to Carbono. Carbono is checked. Now Walter dumps it into the jet zone. Essenza gives to Barry. Up to Pizlowski. He's cut off by Walter. Sends it back to his own blue line. And with it there for Montreal is Ludwig. To Chelios. Away for the Canadians. His pass hit Carbono high. And back for it is Mantha. Jets going with seven defensemen tonight. Mantha hurting somewhat after blocking a shot yesterday. And the odd man out in the scheme of things tonight is Gord Donnelly. Here's Chelios. Gets it over to Carbono. Dumped into the Jets on Cronin and Walter after it. It sent around to Kennyworth. He tried it for Steen. Knocked away. Loose puck. Walter can't get it in. Newman swings by. Checked by Keane. And Steen has it now. With Elinuk who takes the pass. Elinuk shot. And Chelios goes back. Watched by Elinuk. Pass goes out to Keane. With Nasland and Smith at center. He gives to Naslund. Cut off by Cronin. And Lume has it now. Puts it into the Jets on, brought up by Cronin. Rink wide, here's Steen. Works in, looking for somebody, dropped it off. Naslin can't hang on. Elena in deep. Elena collides in the corner. It comes loose to Naslin. His lead pass goes to Daniel. Dumped into the Jets on Newman and puts it back. Now Naslin goes after it. In deep from Montreal, looks in front. Tried to flip it there. Smith puts it in front. Essens up, pokes it away. Steen trying to escape Naslund. It goes in deep to Smith. Watch by Newman. Smith behind. Puts it on front. Big save, Essenza. As he did the splits on Keane. It's ducked out to center over two lines to Brett Ashton. From the Forum in Montreal, this is Molson Jet Hockey on CKY. In Canada, the male will try to entice the female by staging a colorful display. It's called Strutting Your Stuff. Senza won't get a lot of work, I don't think, tonight because it'll be a close checking game. But what worked close in checking? Keane had a good opportunity there. Senza just puts it off into the corner, and now we've got a little battle going on behind Senza. 
Well, Bob Estens, in fact, had the best goals against average in the American League, plus a 3-3 three three record with the Moncton Hawks before he was brought up and Tom Draper taking his place on the farm. So, you know, it doesn't come any tougher, does it? You come up to the National Hockey League and they pitch you against Calgary and Montreal. But if he plays as well tonight as he did against Calgary, it'll be a tremendous start. Well, Bob Murdoch might as well see what type of a goaltender he's got right off the bat. Murdoch's not afraid to challenge the young players. Now with it is Boschman. Boschman watched by Gilchrist. His pass for Hughes. That's knocked away. Jocelyn Lemieux has his pass broken up. Boschman gives to Pozlowski. And he fires it into the Montreal zone. Back for it, Slavoda. Tried it for Lemieux. The only Lemieux dressed is Claude Lemieux. is out with injury. Here's Gilchrist. Gets it to the jet line. Cut off by Taglianetti. Fired into Montreal territory. Boschman goes after it. Flips it in behind the net. With it there is Lefebvre. His pass goes over to Christofoli. Trying to swing by Fenton. Christofoli to the jet line. Trying to get by Fenton. Puts it in front. And Cronin gives to Smale. His pass to Fenton, dropped off. Here's McElwain in flight. Gets it over to Fenton, looks in front. McElwain goes in behind it, bounced in front. Now Cronin with it. Dumps it in deep. Back for it, Svoboda. His pass taken by Lefebvre, ahead down to Riche, working on Newman, and who knocked it away. And Smale has it. Sends it to center to McElwain. Jumped into the Montreal zone, and going back to get it is Dino. Daniel looks for room, slides it ahead to LeBeau for Riche. It was offside. Well, I mentioned neither of these two hockey clubs. You will expect tonight to give you much more than that of a good checking defensive team. They both have had trouble putting the pucks in the net. Now, LeBeau is one player who the French media here have criticized Coach Pat Burns for choking him, not giving him enough ice time. I think, in reality, the French media that are choking LeBeau, they're expecting him to be a superstar right off the bat, and Pat Burns wants to bring him in slowly. He's a talented young hockey player with good offensive skills. All he needs is some time and experience. Here's Chelios, gives to Carbono. His relay intercepted by Pozlowski, flipped back into the Canadian zone. Chelio sends it to center, and with it there is Olison for Ellett. Ellett's pass, knocked down. Carbono gets to the jet line, checked there by Olison. He gives to Howarchuk. Long shot, Law kicks it away. And Walter, left side, Carbono. Sent out for Courtnell by him, grabbed by Allen. Looks to Howard Chuck with Cunnyworth. The pass for Cunnyworth too far. In behind Roy, leaves it there. Jellio spins around. Pozlowski frees it, and it's taken away by the Canadians. With it is Ludwig to Walter. His relay to Courtnell. He can fly. Cutting at the net. They shot. Hissons of the safe. Here's Carbono's shot. It's blocked. Now with it again is Courtnell. Leaves it there, taken out by Kennyworth, who scored his first goal in 10 games last night, the winner in Quebec City. Kennyworth dumps it in, Carbono clears it away, Kennyworth has it again, and Carbono kicks it out again. Now Courtnall, back to Chelios, gives it to Ludwig, to Chelios, to Riche. Back to Ludwig, to Chelios. Jumped all the way down the ice. It bounced in front, a weird hop. Back for it is Ashton. And it winds up being icing against the Montreal Canadiens. No score, six minutes, nine seconds gone in the first. RCA introduces the Pro Edit Camcorders, featuring animation and time-lapse recording, a flying erase head for clean edits, video and audio dubbing, and many other professional features. See your RCA dealer today for a demonstration of the Pro Edit system and experience the new standards in home video production. Plus, get a $100 rebate from RCA when you buy any Pro Edit Camcorder. So if it's not a Pro Edit, forget it. See Lockport TV and appliances and in the FAS, see sound innovations. 
Freddie Olsen and Davey Allen like to stand up in the neutral ice area, and they did that very well out there against the Canadians, except when you've got a guy like Courtney with tremendous speed out there, you can't always stand up as much as you'd like to. Courtney just breathes by Olsen. Steen and Carboneau face off. It comes back. Barry puts it into the corner. Carboneau goes after it. Ellen leans into him. Steen frees it, and it's brought away by Richet. Richet trying to beat Barry to the outside. Barry knocked it away, and Ashton has it now. He gives to Steen. Right side, here's Yellenuk. In over the line. Drop back to Steen in front. He fired it wide. Barry with it. Tried it for Ashton. Now Barry gets it back. Gives to Steen a shot. Picked out of the air and held by Patrick Roy. Steen didn't know whether or not to shoot or to pass that puck over to Ashton. It might have been a nice play to make that pass to Ashton, but he saw the top corner that Patrick Waugh was giving him. Glove side, that's exactly where Steen went for. Unfortunately for Steen, he didn't connect. Now Steen with Pat Ellenuk to his right side. Pat Ellenuk got off to a tremendous start, Gary, and as far as goal scoring was concerned, but the last eight games he has been unable to put the puck in the net. And one assist in the last seven games not exactly the way that Pat Ellenuk should be playing in his option year. Here's Howard Chuck shot while the save as Boschman won the faceoff cleanly. And Aslan puts it over to Svoboda. His lead pass at center ice here. Smith into the jet zone. Howard Chuck tagging him. Smith trying to put it in front. Can't against Newman. And in with it is Hughes. Gives to Boschman. At center. Rink wide pass for Howard Chuck. Law sends it up the boards, and with it is Smith. Smith's pass picked off. It's in behind the net. Now Boschman trying to work it in front. And LaFay around for Naslin. Gets at the center with Smith. Naslin gets to the jet line, but offside on the right side was Mike Keane. No score, a quick start. 7-19 gone in the opening period. Back on the ice, the Jets lost to the Canadians 5-1 last night, leaving Quebec with a split. We have the highlights from the Forum in Montreal. Pick it up in the second period, 1-0 Habs. Stefan Richet launches one from outside the blue line that handcuffs Bob Essenza. Montreal had a 2-0 lead later in the second. Full marks to Mike Keane. He steals it, and then with two Jets draped all over him, still manages to put it in the high left corner. Three zip Canadians. And it's Montreal one more time in the second. This time, Russ Courtnell, he'll bust in on the right side. Watch the nifty pass in the slot to Shane Corson. Corson makes no mistake. 4-0 Habs after two. Winnipeg does manage to solve Patrick Dwan the third. Pat Ellenuk in the crease will shovel it home after a Freddie Olison shot. Montreal adds one more. You can make the final 5-1 Les Habitants over Winnipeg. The loss leaves the Jets tied for third in the Smythe with Vancouver. Both have 18 points, but just a point back of second place L.A. They tied Edmonton at two last night. The Jets' next game is this Saturday in Philadelphia. 